Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm here to read you guys PJ Maxx and the Dinosaur. PJ Masks and the Dinosaur. PJ Masks and the Dinosaur. Connor, Greg, and Maya are visiting the museum. Come on, Greg says. The museum's got a new dinosaur show with a big flying pterodactyl. Wow, Connor and Maya say. The three friends rush inside. So, Greg says that the museum, muse, museum's got a new dinosaur show with a big flying pterodactyl. Pterodactyl is a, a flying dinosaur, so they're going to see um, a flying dinosaur. Anaya, Greg, Anaya, Greg calls, hurry up. Where's Connor? Amaya asks. Just then, she sees a Trinoceros. Rex lurching towards her. Roar! said the dinosaur. Ah! Amaya screams as she stumbles backward into a model Trinoceros Rex skeleton. The model Trinoceros Rex skull falls in Amaya. Connor steps out from behind the cardboard dinosaur. Oops, he says, trying not to giggle. Connor, that wasn't funny, Amaya says. It was just a little bit funny, Connor argues. So, Amaya is actually taught that the Trinoceros Rex was actual, actually real, but actually it was just Connor. Guys, Greg shouts, come quick! What's going on? Maya asks. The pterodactyl was right there, Greg says, but someone's taken it. Greg says... Don't worry, Connor says. We'll get it back. PJ Masks, we're on our way. Into the night, we save the day, they say all together. Greg becomes Gecko. Amaya becomes Owlet. Connor becomes Catboy. So, so they're actually the PJ Masks. So Greg actually says that the pterodactyl was um right there but um someone st stole it someone's taking it taking it so they so Greg becomes gecko Amaya becomes owlet and Connor becomes catboy under the cover of night the heroes go in search of the missing pterodactyl okay owlet use your allies cat catboy says I will, Owlet says, once you say you're sorry. Oh, you mean for the scaring you in the museum? Catboy asks. All right, I'm sorry. Now let's go. Is that it? Owlet asks. That wasn't a very big sorry. Guys, Gecko says, noticing something in the sky. So, um, Alan wants Catboy to, um, apologize, but he only says, all right, I'm sorry. But Alan says, that, is that it? A robotic pterodactyl swoops down over them with a terrible screech. <laughs> Romeo laughs. Did I make you jump with my robot? With my robot, pterodactyl? I'm the best! Who else could steal a giant model dinosaur and make it fly? But you shouldn't have, Romeo, Gecko says. We'll stop you, Catboy calls. Just then, Cat jumps out of the bushes and surprises Romeo. 
he loses control of his robot. Quick! Before Romeo fixes the pterodactyl, Catboy says, "Let's take him by su- surprise." But first, say sorry for surprising me in the museum. Alice says, "I said I was sorry." Catboy says with a sigh. Fine, I'll just go catch Romeo on my own. Alice says and flies away. So it looks like. Cat boy says he already says sorry, which is true, but Alec doesn't think it's it's enough. So Alec says um and flies away. Alec says that fine, I'll just go catch Romy on my own, and Alec says it and just flies away. Let's see if she can catch Flo, um, Romy away, or if she needs her friends for making, um, 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 to work together and then um defeat Romy. Romeo gets control of his robot with no time to waste. Catboy and Alex spring into action at the same time. The two heroes crash in midair. Oof! They said, landing on the ground. Alex, why did you do that? Catboy asks. You let Romeo escape, she says. Oh dear, Romeo says. The famous PJ Masks squabbling like cats and owls. Ha 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 ha. The heroes try again. Super Cat leap, says Catboy. He misses Romeo but catches the robot's tail. Alan dives at Romeo. Whoa! He he says, dropping the remote control. Gecko catches the remote control. Super weird grip. Whoa! This is tricky, he said as he gets the hang of flying the robot. How about a dino ride? How about a dino ride, gecko style? So there's lots of things going on, like so much right here. So they to bump each other, squabbling like cats and owls, because this is a cat and an owl without a cat and dog. She wouldn't be a dog, would she? And then <clears throat> gecko. Here's the good news, gecko. Got the remote control, and another good news: Catboy got its tail, the dinosaur robot's tail. And um, let's see what happens next to Gecko, and he wants a dino ride, Gecko style. Let me down! Romeo yells from the bucking robot. Come in a. Al- Come in for a landing, Gecko says, making the robot roar. Roll. Romeo tumbles into his lab. Oh no! Oh, actually, yeah. They got a pterodactyl. So let's let's see what happens next. And oh yeah, I forgot to read this part. <laughs> Capo hands on on as Gecko safely lands the robot. Nice work, PJ Masks. Capo says, but not everyone is happy. Just because we beat Romeo, Alex says, it doesn't mean make it all right. You scared me. She flies away more su- upset than. Ever, wait, Alec! Please, Catboy says. He grabs the remote control from Gecko. So it looks like Catboy is going to um um want to talk with Alec, but Alec just flies away. No, Catboy wants to say sorry, but um Alec is still mad that. She- He didn't say sorry, so now he's trying to fly to Alit. Catboy, Gecko calls. Flying that thing isn't easy. I don't care. I have to catch up with Alit and make it up. Catboy says, "By my cat's whiskers!" Whoa! The robot flips upside down, and Catboy drops remote control. 
So Gecko is actually right that it isn't easy to do that. And when Cap um and um the remote control um fell. Let's read this part. The remote control falls right into Romeo's hands. Now I'll get my pterodactyl pterodactyl back and catch Catboy too. He sneers. <laughs> so Romeo got the remote control. Now what does Catboy Gecko? And not Alec, because she's somewhere else. But let's see if Alec finds out. Or maybe if Alec saw. From a distant rooftop, Alec hears Catboy yells, Help! He calls to Alec, I took the pterodactyl to catch up with you to make sure we were still friends. But now Romeo's in control again. Of course we are still friends, she says. This is all my fault. I should have never made up. You know, I, I should have made up with you before time to be a hero. So, let's see here. That's it, Romeo. That's it, Romeo. Alec yells, no one messes with my friend. She flies to Catboy's rescue. Grab onto me, she said to Catboy. Catboy hands onto Alec and she lifts him off the pterodactyl. Get him, she says. And Catboy gives the pterodactyl a mighty kick. Romo yells at the pterodactyl. He flies right at him. He drives off the rooftop at, off his lab and lands on a pile of garbage. So now Romo's done. Done forever. I think you dropped something, Romeo. Gecko calls as he grabs the remote control from the ground. What? Romeo says. Gecko makes the robot chase him. No, no, no. Get away. Romeo whines as he runs off into the distance. That's the last we'll see of Romeo for a while. Owlet says. Good job, team. Thanks, Alec, Catboy says. The heroes learned an important lesson that night. Making it up can be tough, but it's what friends do. PG Max, all shout hooray, cause in the night we saved the day. That's the end. So, PZ Mask and the Dinosaur, have you ever been to a museum? Have you ever saw uh, um, a Trinoceros? So, you're not going to see, tri um, you're not going to see flying things there. <laughs> I don't think so. So, bye guys. Thank you for watching my video again. And, um, um, please subscribe. Please share and please um, like my video. Please, um, I hope you like it. I hope you enjoy my video. Bye. Thank you very much for watching my video.